What's up, YouTube? My name is Bedivere, and welcome back to another episode of Zero to Hero. Today, we are going back into the world of Factorio, and our goal for today is to finish out our mining fields as well as our smelting setup. Uh, in the last episode, we laid out the blueprints, we kind of planned out what we wanted to do. Today, it's time to actually implement this. So hopefully by the end of the episode, we've finished our mining fields. We've got some full uh, smelting columns operational. And then that way, next episode, we can set up our main bus and the actual beginnings of our factory. So with that being said, let's get started. Let's add some more copper there. Take out some miners. Great. This is good to take out. I'm going to I'm going to start taking out these miners cuz we're going to start smelting. Take out the miners first so that the smelters can finish smelting their resources. Oh, that needs a lot. That has 11 left. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll start planning out this. How much do we need? So we'll have six iron plate and then we'll have two steel plate rows. So we'll have eight lanes in total. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the split will come here. Let's bring all of these lanes up and over. Let's leave a little bit of space here. One, two, three, four. So this is gonna be the last belt. Perfect. Paste. And then this is gonna be the first belt of iron plate. Okay, so how many do we need? We said we needed eight. So let's go up. And that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's going to be all of our copper plate. So what I'm going to do, this is why I love ghosts. It's just because then you can plan out your entire factory. And I'm going to have copper plate come out this way. And then down. Let's just copy this part. Whoops, delete. Awesome. Now these are finished and we can start placing down some miners. All right, so this is gonna be the last little bit here, 3.4K. We get a full lane? No, we don't. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. Just to keep the spacing. One, two, three. How much? Oh, we only have 73 left here, so let's put it this one. Okay, cool. And then, here, how many miners do we have left? 50? I'm gonna do a little, little thing here just to see how far out the rows are gonna go. So this looks like it's gonna be our furthest row out. And then I'm gonna place my little underground belts here. That way we get the spacing right so that they're all coming out at the same level. And it's just a nice you know, visual thing. That way the power poles line up and everything like that. It is getting dark. So let's go ahead and we have a bunch of lights, so that's good. I can place lights as we are powering everything up. Let's go ahead and place these down so we know where our power poles are gonna be. Whoops, I messed up there. One, two, three, four, okay. Let's go ahead and drag out all the belts. 
and then we'll have power poles here and then we drag and it'll automatically fill everything out and then we will have our lights here every other that way we can see we have light great now let's go ahead place the rest of the miners and then we will do the same thing here it might be best to copy and paste No, wait, it's nice and uniform, nice and a grid. What we can do is we, now that it's all ghosted, we can place our power poles and then right away place our lights so that y'all can see. Those are gonna be out of power. Oh, now we're out of power poles, okay. But we can still go ahead and place lights. We need some more copper plate for, oh, actually while we're going up, whoops, come on, squeak through, there you go. I'll add some lights to our mini base here. That way you guys can see. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing here. we have light all right i think that's good for now uh we need coal let's go ahead here Oh, and I forgot to do the one thing that we did to one thing that we came came up for was the copper. Oh no, I did get copper. I just forgot to make power poles. Let's keep placing. Oh, <laughs> and we have run out. Let's go here. Just place ghosts for now. Okay. Do we have any more miners up here? We do have a little bit. Okay. So now let's place some of these. And I do want to keep on placing miners until we actually run out of room, just so I know spacing wise. And then it looks like this is going to be the last row and I'll merge these two rows. I did want to add another row of spacing here just to see what the spacing would look would look like. Uh, the last thing will be here with power poles. Let's bring down the power. What I'll do is I will or I will not owl. <laughs> I will merge these two lanes together since they are really, um, really short lanes. And then this will be one of our outputs. I do want to bring all of these lanes up a tad. Am I going to need a miner here? Yeah, I will. Won't need one there. Okay. Up. Perfect. Now the amount of miners per belt varies depending on the belt speed. Um, with yellow belts, I think, let's see the mining speed here is 0.5 per second. 
So we actually need 30 miners to fill up a 15 item per second yellow belt. Um, up here, let's see. We have 24, just shy. 26, again, just shy. But we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six output that are gonna be shy um, of the full throughput needed to fill out eight full yellow belts. Um, but we're, it, it'll be fine to to start out with this ore patch. Um, at the very beginning of the, of the game, you're not gonna be consuming six full yellow belts of iron plates. We will be using uh, yeah, there's another iron ore patch here that will probably come up and supplement, uh, this patch. And I'm pretty sure from the beginning that there's another one over here. Um, but let's, but that all, we'll tap those ore patches when it comes, when, when the time comes. But for now, let's go up to the edge up here and then place another radar so that we cover our entire screen. Or not entire screen, but play area so that we can see everything. And then we'll go all the way down to our smelting area. And we brought down power, did we? We did not. Okay. That's something that we do have to do. But while I'm here, you know what? While I'm here, let's start. Can I craft? bombs yet or grenades yet i can't okay hmm what to prioritize well that's going to be our next our next research but let's see we do need to finish this smelting smelting array let's go i need more of splitters and then we'll balance out this lane and then bring it all the way to the edge here. And eventually we will balance out all the inputs to, to distribute evenly between all the smelting columns. But for now, to just have one is perfectly fine. That way we can start smelting a lot. Um, let's see here. I need belts. I always need more belts. Uh, okay, so let's go up here to our little belt maker. Our little belt maker hard at work with 770 belts. Great. Okay. So now our iron plate is coming down. Whoops. And then the last thing that we'll need before placing down everything else is going to be our fuel. And that'll come along this horizontal line. So I do need to build out this part. Let's hope that I have enough splitters. Great. Whoops. Didn't mean to delete that. Let's take this all the way down. And then once this is connected, we will take up our mining. Oh, trees. Trees are in the way. This is why I wanted to make grenades. Um, okay, give me, give me five minutes here to delete all these trees and I will let you let you know once I'm done and then we'll bring this belt all the way back up. All right, so see you back in a couple minutes. So we are back. Uh, I did go ahead and deleted a few more trees and added a few more miners here just for spacing. Um, 
I know this is a little bit spaghetti, a little ugly, but it'll make do for now. Uh, these miners will deplete fairly quickly and then we can connect it straight on. But for now, we finally have fuel coming down to our smelting column. Now the last thing we need to smelt this iron plate is all the furnaces and the inserters, as well as actually powering up everything. So let's go ahead, add the inserters, whoops. Perfect, and I think we might be short on inserters, so let's go ahead and start making a couple more now. While we're putting them down. So that by the time we get down there, they're all finished. Oh, and we got coal, great, awesome. <laughs> One thing I forgot to do, I forgot to hook up the power, no! Okay. So this is going to be a power pole. Let's just keep bringing this down. We have power. Woo. Okay. So these first few furnaces are going. These ones are not because we do need to power them up. Fantastic. All right, so now we have a whole smelting column dedicated to iron plates. Amazing. Now let's do this. Perfect. Great. That's what I love to see. I love to see that full belt of iron plate. That's amazing. Awesome. Now, obviously we don't need the belt yet, but all these smelters here are going to be piling up on iron plate. And now that we don't really need all this coal, we can just dump it back into these smelters. Now, while we're at it, we are going to see actually i kind of wish i had that cold i need to make grenades no i can't make grenades <laughs> until i get green science uh but a good way to make green science now since we have a bunch of iron plate and we have a great supply of it we can make a mini factory adding on to that original um little science factory that we had up top and we can handcraft or not handcraft but have a mini green science factory Let's just add this just for my sanity what's going on here oh a little bit short okay that's fine so what we'll do is and we need more assemblers okay at five well let's actually delete all of them and since we got electric electric circuits, we can make more. And now we only need the gear wheels instead of handcrafting everything. Um, okay, so these two are going to be making our green science. Copy, paste. Now each of these will need transport belt and inserters. So we have a bunch of transport belts. We have a bunch of inserters. What's the best way to do this? Honestly, probably chest. We're not gonna have this set up for too long. Um, we need more iron plate here. We need more copper there too. And in here. Pick up some more copper plate and put it all in here. Actually, no, we need some in here. 
Let's put one more here. And then 100 there, 100 there. That's 200 red signs. And then we'll put more into the belts. Okay. And I think we'll just do something kind of sneaky. Oh, we need, I need, I need more of that copper, please. <laughs> Come back. One, two, and then I'll put the rest back in. Do something a little sneaky and just add everything from my chest. So half of my belts there, half of my belts there. I need more inserters. What do I need? I need copper. Go figure. Or not copper, iron. Oh, these are already done. Let's delete them. Another reason why I love auto deconstruct, you can recycle anything that you're not using. Okay. Let's go ahead. Just go down the line, pick up a bunch of iron plate. And you'll see that it's not making it all the way to the bottom. And that's because if you can see down here, we don't have a full compressed belt of iron ore coming. Um, but we'll get that once we connect this new um, line here. I'll connect that next. Where did we need? Oh, we needed the iron plate to make inserters. Huh. Dummy. So just to kind of get it started, let's put 50 in one, put 16 in the other. That'll get started for the green science. How much do we need? We need only 20 and that'll, that'll tide us over until we get grenades. Okay, so the next thing to do will be to make another, whoops, I need, I need belts now. Interesting, interesting how that works. You give up all your belts and now you finally need them again. Uh, let's do a few hundred here. All right. I'm going to do something that probably shouldn't do, but meh, I need it. All right. So now splitters getting built. Cool. I'm gonna prioritize this left belt first and then bring the rest down to get smelted afterwards. Um, but that's just for now since we only have one smelting column. Now let's bring these two down. This is gonna be the leftmost lane. So it should be the leftmost of the four here and I'll follow this down and start smelting some copper plate. And we need more belt. Not surprising. Hmm. While I'm here, actually, let's go ahead and delete these. Is that the only miners I have left? Jesus, come on, make miners. I need miners. I need more inserters because this one needs a few, 35, 37, that's fine. Put all of them into here because they need it. Half there and half there. So the next thing that I'm gonna need to build is fast inserters. What do I need now? I need, oh, I need a new belt still. Okay, fast inserters shouldn't take long, uh, but 
while I'm here, I should start making grenades to help me clear some trees. Grenades need a bunch of coal and a bunch of iron. So let me go pick that up. That way I can delete this little tree patch. Let's go ahead. How many grenades can we make? 77? Let's make all of them. All right. Now we got a bunch of iron plate, which is fantastic. These smelters are not all done, but let's go ahead and finish them off. Got more belt. Fast inserter is almost done. I'm going to transfer all of these to fast inserters. Because see how here it's not, it's waiting for more resources. It's just waiting for this guy. <laughs> these are done. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish out this row here. I'm gonna do it by copy and pasting and planning since I don't have, actually no, I got 50. So go ahead and go for it. And I need underground belts. Let's pause those and then restart them again. I need belts again. Let's go get some more. I really, I'd really like fast inserters now, please, so that these can start actually going quickly. So we are running out of iron, or not iron, but miners. Let's go ahead and get some more. Uh, no, we don't need any there. All right, then might as well. Okay. So how many miners do we have in this bunch? 37? Yeah. 26, 46, but not all of them are. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll merge all, all of these ones. There's the last one here, there. We're gonna merge all of these places, or not places, but miners together. So that we have four full belts. And while I'm at it, let's add some power poles and lights. We can see. That's good. That's good too. And there and there. Now 
there everything's powered up let's go ahead and add the belts there we go add these ones as well And since, like, I would usually balance out this lane and then merge it and then merge it, but this is such a small, yeah, it's only 20. So I'm going to only merge, or, I mean, I'm only going to balance here. I'm going to balance it this way. And then go up here and then balance it one more time. So this is a little bit different of a balancer. It does exactly the same thing, but just turns it left. So you're essentially moving half of the items on the left side and then half of the items on the right side and just kind of bring it up out here. And then what we'll do for these is, uh, I hate when that happens. When you're almost done, uh, we'll wait for the grenades to finish. When you're almost done making something, and then you just run out of materials right then. Uh, now that we have fast inserters, let's go ahead and make a few. And we can't make them until these are done. Uh, let's go ahead, pick up some circuits and that way we can just make a few out of our yellow inserters. And when we, whoops, I stopped one. When we replace them, we get those yellows and yellow inserters back. Oh, that's so nice. Stuff's mo moving over time now. Look how fast these are building up now. It's fantastic. All right. That's good to go. Did I get belts? Yes, I did. Okay, these belts are gonna go up here. And then these ones are going to merge together here. Oops. Yeah, one line, two line, three line, four lines. And then they will all come together at a certain point here. And this is where we will balance them using that four lane balancer that we used before. I'll need all of these and I need more green circuits now. But honestly, this line just doesn't look good to me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in and balance them out because that's just uh, I don't like it. Okay, we're gonna make more. There we go, only ten. Um, this is how we do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Add more here. One here. Turn in. Turn in and then delete this one. There we go. Now we have one output lane of copper ore from four balanced lanes of copper ore. So this will have an even amount taken from all the miners or all the ends. And now let's make this oh no 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 wrong one that's gonna be stone we want to come down one more this one's gonna go into here we need to bring our fuel over and then after we finish this we can start planning for the bus and then that should be it for today. All right, 
So that's going to come out. Whoops. There we go. How many inserters do I have? 14. Nope, not enough. Let's go ahead, make those while we can. And these are working just so much faster now, which is great. 28, actually let's cap this to 100 and cap this 500. Cap this to there. Should be good enough. I'll also cap this to just one. 50, can make 51 miners, or not miners, inserters. Should be enough for now. How are we doing on power now that, now that we got more miners? See, now that we got more miners, we might need to add a little bit more power. We can do that ne next episode. We can finish out the power array. Let's place down. Oh, Ooh, I'm happy that I stopped building because we need to clear out these trees. And you'll see, it's a little tough to see now. Hold on, let me add some lights. Here. Yeah, that's good. So when I add the uh, grenades, you see this little kind of green line right here. That's our range for the grenades. So you stand a little far apart. Oh no. And it hurt some of our belts. Try to get the sweet spot so it doesn't destroy our belts. But you notice it doesn't destroy any ghosts or anything like that. It only destroys actually actual dropped entities. Uh, do we have any repair things? No, we need green circuits for that. Well, if we start smelting real quick, I'll be able to handcraft some. Ah, and we need fuel. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead, add all of these. go almost done there we go so now let's take some copper make some repair packs and then let's try to even out these lights first we need power though Really? Running out of power now? Or power poles now? Like, come on. Help me out a little bit. Okay, so I got some lights here. And we'll add the same over here as well. Whoops. And now that... <laughs> and now it's... Now it's daytime, so you can't really see the effects of the lights anyways. I would have liked to just see how far apart I'd like to space them. And then I can copy that over to to the other uh, to the other smelting columns. So it looks like, oh, what's not powered here? There we go. What'd I miss? Oh, there's a sneaky inserter in there. Okay. So now what we'll do, where do we want our bus to go? Honestly, probably right in the middle, right? So we have Kind of a bus here. We want to leave some room here. What's the middle? 
You know what would be really cool? What's the... Well, since we're going to have two more kind of smelting arrays here, the middle will probably be around here or so. So what are we going to have? We're going to have six, six belts of iron, or iron, yeah. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four belts of copper. One, two, three, four. And I'm doing them all together. Usually you want to leave a little space. For example, one, two, three, or let's do ghosts instead. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, I messed that up. Usually you wanna leave two rows of space so that you have enough room to do underground belts. Cause you see here, same thing as the underground pipes, the, the yellow disappears. So that means they're not connected. So you wanna have two spaces in between. Um, and it's the same thing with branching off as well. If you have a nice line here and you wanna branch off, you need you need to turn and then you have another underground belt going this way so it's nice to have two spaces in between however we're going to dedicate one lane dedicated for iron plate for um, green circuits and then after that we'll have one lane dedicated for uh, the mall obviously they all feed into each other but then after the mall we'll have four lanes of iron plate four lanes of copper plate um, and then we'll have that that gap in between that we mentioned before. So right now we have, we, sh we should have 10. Yeah, we have 10. Um, and then I will add two, one, two, three. This is where our stone or steel, stone and stone, or no, coal, steel, uh, stone and stone brick are gonna go because we do need we do need coal on the bus as well okay so these ones are going to be coming this way which lane is closer one two three four five six this is coming down this way that that's that whoops that doesn't matter another reason why I love ghosts you can plan out your factory without actually having to w place resources and consume them and then steel is going to be coming from underneath this way and then come down this way yes or it could go could go over it doesn't matter what does matter is we have one two three four rows of copper coming through let's go ahead to delete deep these trees whoops So it looks like we have the starts of a bus. And I think this is going to be a good spot to end for today. Uh, on the next episode, we are going to be starting with mass producing green circuits as well as starting on the mall. Uh, I'd like to do the mall to be the first thing because the, it, then it gets you know all the resources from the very beginning of the bus. Um, we're gonna start with the green circuits, like I said, the mall and also the, f not final, but the the builds for red and green science in our, um, in our 
main small factory. So if you want to see kind of how I do red and green signs, they're pretty basic, but if you'd like to see that, uh, stick around for the next video, make sure to subscribe just so that you get notifications on when the next video comes out. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like, like button, subscribe and comment down, down below if you have any suggestions on any direction that you'd like the playthrough to go. If you would build something differently or just, you know, your own opinion on how you like to play Factorio or how you'd like to see me play Factorio. If you'd like me to do more so uh, tutorial, take my time, kind of longer form video, or just kind of speed up uh, the playthrough and just do, and just kind of watch along and, and take a little bit less time explaining what I'm doing. That's all up to you guys. So make sure to leave a comment down below uh, to, just to, to let your voice be heard. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much. Uh, Again, my name is Bedivere. I do stream. I try to stream every set Sunday on Twitch. Um, so if you want to go over there, follow me on that. And yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.